Well, hello again, fans. Welcome to another Buccaneer update here on CSUSports.com. Rob Walton along with head men's track and field coach Tim Langford. His squad ran very well at the Tiger Paw Invitational. Coach, when we talked to you last week, I know you were very excited to get your squad back out on the track, on the field, for the second week in a row, your first back-to-back -back of the season. How do you think that the guys responded to being out there two weeks in a row? Actually, I think they enjoyed it very well. Uh, we built a lot of momentum from what we had last week, and, you know, we, we were very excited about what the results that we got out of it. Yeah, it seems like school records are falling for you guys every single meet. This time it was Javon Young and also Andrew King who set school records for you guys. Right, I tell you, uh, both of those kids ran exceptionally well. Andrew, you know, I, I can't say enough about the kid through cross country, through indoor track. You know, he's been a rock for the program. You know, he's a senior. You know, hopefully, you know, we can get him back for one more year. But I tell you, you know, if we can't, we're really going to miss him. You know, he's a, he, he's, he's a class act. Uh, Javon, I mean, he, he's continued the momentum that he built all season long. You know, as a sophomore, to run as fast as he's running, it's amazing. Javon won his event, the 60 meter, and also Cornelius Tyler won the 400. So a very successful weekend for those guys. Yes, I'll tell you, Javon, uh, he, he moved to number seven in the country which is huge. Uh, he ran 6.64 in the 60. Uh, Cornelius Tyler opened up his 400 meters, uh, you know, did a very good job to convert it to a 48, which is, you know, really high in the conference, top tier in the conference. Right. Uh, also, Juan Thompson won the 300 as well. That's right. So, he, you know, the, the guys did very well, had a really good showing at Clemson and showed those Tigers, you know, who we're all about. And even the guys who maybe didn't set school records or win their meet still had very good events. I know Dominic Riggins set a personal best in the 60-meter high hurdles. You guys had good performances all the way around on the track and also on the field. Definitely. Uh, Dominic, you know, the kid has been working very hard. You know, he's in his sophomore year. You know, he's really coming into his own. Uh, James Hayes in the weight throw through a millimeter short of his school record, oh, wow. you know, so he's really going to show some big time things uh, when it comes to conference time. You guys ride back up to Clemson this week, this time for the Tiger tune-up, and I know it's got to help you guys to be on the same track for the second week in a row. Oh, yeah, definitely. Uh, the kids have seen it once, you know, you've seen it the second time, you know, you know what to expect. You, you get a almost a home court advantage type feel for it. It's going to be good. Should be very exciting. Coach Tim Langford of the CSU men's track and field team. A lot of congratulations for another great week up at Clemson. Hopefully we can have a repeat performance this week. That's what I'm looking for. Thank All you. right. Men's track continues to run well. Until next time, for head coach Tim Langford, I'm Rob Walden. We'll see you right back here on the Buccaneer Update on CSUSports.com.